Mr. Staples, I'm honored to be here. It's a true privilege to meet you and the women who are keeping our boys safe. I hope you don't mind. The people from Time Magazine wanted to join us on this momentous occasion. Thank you. Everyone say Rosie. Rosie! Those are girlfriend shorts. Hey, why don't you fuck off, you piece of shit? What did you say? You heard me. I said fuck off, you piece of shit. Whatever. Can I help you? Oh, uh, the lady's purse. Uh, man told me to give it to her. There was also graffiti on the walls, the signs. Uh, I see you were troubled. Maybe uh, to take a deep breath. <sighs> and collect yourself. Also, there was a man in the ladies' washroom. Maybe you should check it out. A man? Hi. Teddy, I'm Dr. Powell. What happened to your head? I idiotically smacked myself with a 20-pound kettlebell. Kettlebell injuries are surprisingly common. My gym has a printout of 10 different ways you can hurt yourself. Did you witness the accident? Yeah, I'm there for all his workouts. You're his trainer? His brother. And my baby brother. He's got a real knack for making me suffer. We'll run a concussion protocol and get a CT as a precaution. Not until we take care of that gash. You're also experiencing abdominal pain? Did that pain start before or after you hit your head? Uh, kind of simultaneous. Do you mind lifting your sweatshirt? You've recently lost a lot of weight. 70 pounds. In five months, he's getting ready for that summer beach body. Keeping the t-shirt on for now. Do you mind if you lay back to get a better look? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's not a lump. It's a renal hernia. I think it's strangulated. Dr. Perez is right. You need an emergency hernioplasty. Doesn't sound good. It's not. The blood flow to Teddy's intestine has been cut off. He could die without surgery. My mother was smart. She knew we wasn't going to go to any fancy university. But she wasn't raising no latchkey kids either. Respect. Dedication. Being someone with integrity that others can depend on. At least that's how I was raised. And if you can't depend on someone, you kick them to the curb. Thank you. Aren't you grieving too? No. Tell them. You should tell them. I don't really think he needs it. I think you're being strong for him. The problem with acting like you have it all together is he believes it. Maybe he needs to know that you don't. My husband had a jacket just like that. Oh, this? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is a classic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It was nice chatting with you. And I'll talk to you later. Oh. Ah, uh, hey.
He doesn't hate you. He loves you. More than he knows. 